how to migrate to Proton's ecosystem with Proton Easy Switch. Migrate from your Google account, Yahoo account, Microsoft Outlook account, or from another service. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and sign into your Proton Mail account. If you don't already have a Proton Mail account, I'll put a link in the video description and a card at the top right hand corner of this video to a video of mine on how to sign up to Proton Mail. Once you've signed into your Proton Mail account, you'll also need to sign in to the account that you're going to be migrating from. This will save you a lot of time when we are performing the migration using Proton Easy Switch. As you can see, I'm currently signed into my Gmail account. I'll be migrating over my Google account using Proton Easy Switch to my Proton account. As you can see in my Gmail inbox, I have one email that's currently unread. This email will be transferred into my Proton Mail's inbox once the migration has completed. In my Proton Mail inbox, I have two already read emails from Proton. To start the migration process, navigate to the top right hand corner of Proton Mail and click on settings to open up the settings menu. Once you've done that, click on go to settings. Once you're in your settings dashboard, on the left hand side, look for where it says import via easy switch. Click on import via easy switch. So when you start a new import, it will import your emails, calendar and contacts from another service to Proton. You can select the service provider that you want to migrate from here. So you have Google, Yahoo, Outlook and other for a service provider that isn't listed here. The service provider that we're going to be migrating from is Google. So all I'm going to do is click on Google. The Proton Easy Switch tool then asks you, what would you like to import? You can select what you want to import by check marking or uncheck marking these boxes here. I'm going to leave everything check marked as I would like to migrate everything. So I'm going to be migrating my emails, contacts and calendars all over to Proton from my Google account. If you would like to proceed with the import, click on next. You'll now need to sign in to your Google account and grant Proton access to your data. For the import to work, you must select all requested items as shown in the GIF. So I'm going to play the GIF one more time just so you can see what exactly you need to do. Once you've familiarized yourself with what needs to be done, click on continue. Of course guys, I'll guide you through. A small window will then open where you'll need to choose the account that you want to migrate from. Of course in this video, I had already signed into the Google account that I want to migrate over to Proton. So all I need to do is simply click on the account to select it. If you haven't already signed into the account that you want to migrate from, you'll need to do that in this window. Next, you'll need to grant Proton Easy Switch access to your Google account so you'll need to check mark this box here, this box here, and finally this box here. This will grant Proton Easy Switch the access to read, compose, send, and permanently delete all your email from Gmail, see and download your contacts, see and download any calendar you can access using your Google account. Once you've made all your selections that you would like to import to your Proton account, scroll all the way to the bottom and then click on continue. You'll then be brought to the customize and confirm window where it tells you your data is ready to import from your previous service provider to your Proton account. Just confirm your selection and we'll do the rest. So as you can see, emails is checkmarked, contacts is checkmarked and calendar. I only have one email in my Gmail inbox. So that's the only thing that's going to be imported over. All your imported emails will have a label. In my case, it will have this red label here. You can customize the import of your emails here if you want, but I'm going to leave everything as it is by default. So I'm just going to click on the X here. For contacts, I have zero in my Google account, but if you had some contacts, you would also have a little customized hyperlink text here that you can click on to customize your contacts import. And finally, calendars will be imported one of one calendar and you can customize that here if you want. Once you've finished the customization of your import, click on start import to begin the importing process. So as you can see, Proton then says import in progress importing your data from, in my case, my Google account to my Proton account will notify you when the import is done. Large imports can take several days close the screen to exit. So I'm just going to click on close. Now I don't have a lot of data in my Google account, so the import will be very quick. It's most likely done already. So all I'm going to do now is click on the back to inbox button at the top left hand corner here. And then as you can see, my import is now completed. At the very bottom here, we have the single email that was previously in my Gmail inbox. And of course has now been imported into my Proton Mail account and it has the appropriate label assigned to it. We also have three emails from Proton telling us that the import has been completed for our contacts, for our emails and for our calendar. For your contacts, you can simply click on the contacts icon on the very right hand side of 
of your ProtonMail account if you have imported some contacts and for your calendar is directly below your contacts here. You can simply click on your Proton calendar to see if there has been a successful import there also. All right, so that concludes the video on how to migrate to Proton's ecosystem with Proton Easy Switch. Migrate from your Google account, Yahoo account, Microsoft Outlook account, or from another service. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so